All right, well, here we are again, uh, different location. We moved on to the living room as per someone's request. Um, so now we're, we're up to 35 weeks. We're uh, flying along now. Um, so big thing this week, we finally met the doctor that will be delivering the baby. So uh, why don't you uh, talk about that? Yeah, had the appointment yesterday. Um, was with us for probably about a half hour really nice straightforward you can tell she's not going to sugarcoat anything but that being said she's also like being realistic about stuff and we talked a lot about the anxiety i was having about delivery and uh i definitely felt better after that conversation was done she basically reassured me that like you know if you've had ovarian cysts for years and you've had all that pain and you've had horrible menstrual cramps on top of it, you're gonna get through labor okay. Which definitely made me feel better. You, I just started like really having a lot of anxiety. So I appreciated her taking the time to talk to us. Some doctors would have been in and out and she definitely wasn't. So I really, really did like that. Yeah, she definitely took her time with us, which was nice. She measured the belly. Of course, doesn't tell us what the measurement was. They never do. Or what it's for. I guess there's tracking how much is growing. I don't know what it relates to. The baby's heart rate yesterday was 140. She said that was great. So we were good about that. It, it went up a up. little bit. Yeah, because it was hovering around the 130s. And she said about 140. So that's still good. I don't really know what that means either. She wants me to increase my water to a gallon a day. And my coworker and I figured it out. It's seven and a half of these water bottles. This marks number five. So I'm trying to get there, but I'm also, if I can get to six and then have some like throughout the night when I wake up to pee, I'll be happy with that. Cause I'm waking up three to four times nightly. So I normally always do take a sip of water when I'm up. Well, she basically told you, uh... Don't read anything online. Don't listen to any friends. She said a lot of times people just, not that they're lying, but they, little, they just add a little to the story. Like, you know, the fishing tales. Oh, the fish was this big, it was this big. It's the same thing. It's just, you know, everyone has a story, but they can kind of feel what's going on down there, but you know, only the doctors and the nurses and really know what happened and how bad you really were. Um, she did say, um, cause I've told her like about a lot of the symptoms I've had over the past few weeks with, in that region. And she just said, it's my body getting ready for delivery. So I still think it maybe it does mean I'll be going a little early. I don't think so. And I, I broke the news to her that the paperwork that the doctor had to say December 4th as a due date, not the 3rd, like we've been saying. Not really at this point, like it matters, you know, it's all an estimation anyway. I still have, maybe it's mommy's intuition, being that the baby's been inside mommy this whole time. I still think late November, so we'll have to see. <sighs> we did um, actually have the appointment started off was she wanted to know how the new prescription was going for the heartburn. And I told her and she was like, oh no, you, you gotta stop this suffering nonsense. So she switched my prescription. I picked it up yesterday and I have to say, knock on wood, I was awesome today. I wasn't as burpy. I literally wasn't on fire every time I bent down to do something with the kids at work. So, I'm really hoping that this is how I can stay for the next five weeks or so. I mean, it's one thing having like horrible rib pain, like I still do, but when you add the heartburn and the gas problems on top of that, it's just, you feel awful. So I'm really hopeful that this new medicine that I'm on, which is actually my old medicine, only now prescription from before baby, last and i can do this good because like i felt great today it was probably the first time in how many months 
since like 16 weeks of literally not having heartburn throughout the day. I actually did the dishes before dinner. I did the dishes after dinner. I dusted some of the cabinets in the kitchen, cleaned the windows. I put some like a few little Halloween decorations up after work. So a lot better than coming home and plopping my butt on the couch for a few hours and then going to bed. Yeah, the, the past two days we couldn't really film because we would get home and by the time we ate dinner she was, wasn't feeling great and was basically went to bed. You know, we talked in the last video about, you know, about doing the video right away, but, you know, it just wasn't happening. Yeah, so it rained all day here today. Still is. You might even be able to hear it. My dog's microphone is that good, but hopefully I sneeze, though. we uh, wake up tomorrow and the rain's gone because it was miserable today. Working with two and a half to three and a half year olds, they want to be outside as much as they can. So today was inside all day. Hi, don't crazy like this dog, right? Um, as you see, I don't have ice on today. I have a heat wrap. The doctor recommended trying heat versus ice for the ribs. Um, definitely helps. She said it was pretty common. It's just everything. So there's only so much room for the baby. So everything's just stretching and pulling apart and making room. My mom seems to think once I'm on maternity and I'm not up and down and picking up the kids that my ribs are going to feel 100%. I hate to say it, they feel like this on the weekends when I'm not doing my normal average daily routine at work. So I think uh, I'll have this until Till the end. The baby comes. But like I said, if the heartburn can stay away and the medicine works, I'll take this. I can deal with this. So yesterday, it was yesterday, right? Your mom came over? Mm -hmm. We actually were able to go through the gifts and actually take a look at all the clothes that we got and the blankets, you know, and some of the toys that we got. So that was nice to kind of relax for a little bit before you hop into bed. Actually, we got like about four or five actual blankets, like 16 receiving blankets. Yeah, a lot. You know, we got the huge stack of onesies. We got some, you know, nice onesies, some straight boy ones, some girl ones, some neutral. Um, the one really good thing is that when we were upstairs, Dixie was with us, of course, and she literally is leaving all the baby stuff alone. So I'm kind of happy about that. I feel like it's all on the floor. It's literally, she can go up to anything and start chewing on it and she's not doing that. So I think that's a really good start. And the cat's been staying away too. Yeah. Which is good. Definitely a good thing. So this is what Dixie does almost can, nightly. Can wait for me to sit down. Well, I thought maybe people wanted to know why we were all of a sudden squishy. She loves stealing spots. So now she'll probably get back down, come over here. If I got up, she would take my spot. Now nah, she was crazy. Well, it's Wednesday. The Halloween party is in three days when on Halloween night. Saturday the 31st so like I said I started doing some more little stuff tonight in preparation for it so I have the pork ready tonight yeah and he'll be that. smoking a pork um other than that next appointment is when next Wednesday they didn't do the testing I needed this week because she said you have to be at least 35 weeks so I go every week at this point. So it's the 35th week testing, but it's my 36 week appointment. Billy's getting bigger by the day. I had a really big appetite the past two days, actually. Definitely more so than I have been eating. So I don't know if it's the baby trying to just suck every last bit of nutrients the last month and a, a week or so before the baby's here. But even my kids at work are like every day kind of giving my stomach another look like you weren't that big yesterday. But at two and a half and three and a half, it's kind of hard for them to relate what they're thinking. But you can kind of just tell. 
and I only have at this point four more work days. I have tomorrow and Friday, Monday and Tuesday, so I'm definitely getting there. Definitely ready. And I'll be sitting at work, doing nothing, working. Um, I have a lot, though, during the month of November that I want to do. So by any means, it's not like I'm going to just be lounging on the couch eating bonbons. I want, I'll have to undecorate from Halloween. I want to actually decorate for Christmas prior to baby. I want to do some Christmas shopping. I have weekly OB appointments. I actually am getting dental work done, I think, in two weeks. So there's definitely a lot going on. Well... That wraps up another week, another update. Um, of course, we'll get you another update soon. We said we're trying to do more videos, but you know if she's not feeling right. It just it's too much work for her. Um, so till next time, we'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, like the video, share us on Facebook, spread the word about us, and then um, we'll see you next time. And who knows, maybe we'll even try to do a little Halloween video on Saturday. Being that this will be like the last big function before baby. Yes, it will. Well, till then. Take care.